Okay, the thing is, they don't know what, like, at least I don't know what's going on here. Uh, at first, we have, like, this thing that mm, brings the tension, but then we have a lot of uh, other elements, secondary elements, that makes the whole composition confusing. In this part right here, like, I know this is a different, um, different frame, like, different plane of composition, and it's a lot happening here, as well as a lot happening in this first run right here, like this. So basically the thing is, I think you, you could uh, elaborate a hierarchy, like, what do you, what do you want to, to make the important, the most important thing here? Is it the dragon? Is it like this guy doing something that I don't know? Um, is are these Pokemon? Like, <laughs> is it, I don't know. But like, is these creatures right here? Like, uh, choose what you want to to make more uh, important. And second of of all, uh, regards like uh, values. I believe you're pushing too much to the dark, the dark areas. Like you have a lot of true black right here, and it's just a big, big you know. Like uh, you can achieve different uh, values uh, using different colors. For example, uh, I, it it wasn't planned, but I have like this story right here of Edgar Payne, and like he does an amazing job. Just oh, I can okay. He does an amazing job. Like I did this, but <laughs> this, the painting is much better. And you can see, like it's, it doesn't have much darkness value, but um, it has. When we go like this, it's, it's still dark, but it's it's not like it's uh, a really dark value. It's just like uh, a medium uh, blue tone blue hue uh oh my, my, my english is worse sorry but anyways uh there are tons of ways to achieve this the contrast the shadows without you ha having to use uh the darkest tone of gray you know so uh something i recommend is to just um select what you you're going to to like make more important make him more uh secondary and uh, what is is not like very useful uh for example i would just bring this guy uh more closer to the camera lens like it's he's here and he would be uh darkest but he would still be blurry so like it's clear not the main thing to to focus on and the dragon i would put it like in the middle right here uh, like here unless no yeah it still would be something like here like yeah good and i would make this less detailed and less contrast like it has a, a really dark tone and then we have like a, a bright bright one uh some sometimes uh when we have like this distance i, I always do a mess uh when we have like this distance right here uh things uh tend to be more diffuse like blurry uh like we would have uh this range of of uh tone difference like it's not much uh because it's really far away so we we can really distinguish what is uh the object occlusion and what is not you know and if you is we pay attention uh right here in this oh shit in this area going on right here we we cannot define the shapes the main shapes why do you uh distinguish this creature from the rest of the scene like it's something you could uh try to work on uh meanwhile here we have a very distinguished thing uh from the rest of this part but uh when we analyze itself it's it's not much defined like i don't know what what the fuck is this 
uh, this looks like uh, a creature, like a kitty with many tails. And uh, obviously, this is a human being, but like, what it, is he uh, this important? Uh, I think there are, uh, these are things you could pay attention to. Uh, overall, yeah, I think if you uh, fix the, the darkness, uh, I think it's going to be alright, like, and the edges and ambient occlusion. But yeah, that's a, a nice way of uh, pencil, like, you have a really good way using the different pencils. And I really like this, and you're doing a good job, keep going.